Okay. Um, we're back. What I did while you were gone, we were gone, was I prepared myself a steak. Now, I don't suggest do this, but you have to have the timing exactly right. But I did it in the microwave, which is simple. That's one of the great benefits of this thing, is that it allows you to cook in one thing and you do something else in another. Now, you notice I've got these things done, right? Now, um, I have a problem. I can't find my potato masher. So, I feel really embarrassed. I mean, you know, I should have checked this before I did the program, but I came home in a rush, so I didn't uh, plan all of this. So this is this is a steak with roasted garlic, and you can see that it's created a really neat gravy. This is a Tupperware dish. Now Tupperware is cool because what it does is it can take huge amounts of heat in the microwave. You cannot do this with or this not really with other dishes, perhaps the ceramic stuff, right? We have three, three minutes left on this thing. So anyway, with, with the ceramic stuff you can do it, but this is a Tupperware dish which can take up to 25 minutes, 30 minutes in the microwave. You could cook a roast beef in here if you wanted to, okay? So this is super cool and it has a lid, right? This is the ouch. This is the lid and it's still hot. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and put all my potatoes and stuff in here. But first of all, I'm gonna to have to show you something. There's a valve on top of this thing. Right there. Do not touch that valve when this thing is on with your bare hands. Ever. Okay? Make sure the valve is always pointing to this little hood here. Okay? When the valve is pointing to the hood, you're safe. Okay, it's not going to do nothing, right? So it's going to sit there and go, okay, okay. And I forgot to tell you, when you first turn this thing on, you say 10 minutes for rice. It doesn't do 10 minutes for rice. It sits there and says on for 5 minutes. And then it starts counting down the rice. And actually it gives you 12 minutes. Okay? So, that's what's happened here. Now, um, I figured 10 minutes for rice was pretty good. Right? This uh, takes a lot of abuse, man. I'm, I'm using it all the time. I love this thing. Okay? So, it's really neat. Except, except for it's little inadequacy, so um, I don't know any other brand of stuff that works like this, but that's the only little inadequacy, it's gone, right? So, this is what we're going to do. It's now one minute, okay? One minute. I am Mr. Lobster Hand. Do, 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 do. Okay, so, uh, one minute. What can I tell you in one minute? Um, you could play with the settings, learn how to work the settings. Some of the settings can work without the lid on. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it's a cool thing. It's a really cool thing. I know one friend of mine, I gave it to them for Christmas, and they never stopped using it. She, she used it all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time, all the time. Okay? So now it says, I don't know what exactly this means, L-O-O, -O, right? So first thing I do is unplug it, okay? Now I don't want to mess with this thing when it's plugged in. Then I bring it out, right? Which is very carefully you bring it out. Then you hit this, and this steam comes up, okay? As you can see, there's a more than steam there. Okay? Now if I had meat and potatoes or something else in there, I would have a lot more steam. Now you have to sit there and wait till that little button at the back goes down. 
and that may take a little bit, you know. Uh, you have to wait for the little, little button to go down. And um, um, I really don't like editing mm, things, so I uh, I just sort of, you know, you probably see my shirt, you don't see me, right? Which is uh, not very good, but uh, yeah, I'm an amateur, right? So, uh, and my audience is not um, the same audience that a master chef would have, because uh, I'm not a master chef. Um, I'm just a home cook, right? Uh, I don't do baking. I, do, I bake bread. I bake bread sometimes. I, I have baked bread in the past. I baked all kinds of bread. I baked sourdough bread, all kinds of bread. But we're just waiting for this valve to drop, so I can get them all my coffee. So now we open up our thing, right? And in here, well, I just had to dump down there. We've got our potatoes. I'm going to pull it out and show you. That's what the potatoes and parsnip look like, okay? So I'm going to take on the got a in this thing. Pour it into the column. thing we want to do is take them out of the corner and into the bowl. All right? And we want to mash everything together. So since I don't have my potato mash here, and this bowl is going to get very rather hot, I'm going to use a fork. If I can come up with a fork. <laughs> Good kids, you know. Okay. So, we mash. See? Mash. See? Parsnip is mashing. Potato is mashing. So that was, that was 10 minutes on rice. Okay? Now I like my potatoes chunky. So I will mash. Make it fast here. So don't get bored. Mash, mash, mash. Mash, mash, mash. Everybody's seen mashed potato. Um, okay. Now, obviously, we're missing an ingredient here, which is our butter. Alright, so this is what we looked at. You can see everything mashed in together. All right, super cool when you get parsnip in with the potato. Okay, super cool. So I will now get out the butter. This is it tastes like butter. It doesn't really taste like butter, but it. I've been dipping crackers in it, so this isn't that hot. So I can I'm trying to put this in. I dip crackers in my butter. Which is not a good habit, as you can see. I'm fat already. I don't need to get any fatter. So this is a parsnip and potato. There's one other thing that we can do for this. And this is a walk up to the camera and boo. So I have to excuse me. What I got here is my different spice thing, which is not really developed yet. But in here I've got parsley. Just get that closed. I don't need cloves. I hate it when they don't leave no spices. It really bothers me. But 
Anyway, I'm not going to put that in. I'm going to put turmeric in. Okay? A little bit of turmeric. Just a tiny shot. So, we're going to cut this off in. I hate this because I haven't got this one in. Okay. I'm trying to do the wrong spice thing. Okay. I'm going to put that in, right? And that needs some acid. So I'm going to get on an acid for it. I'm off camera here. I have a tour here. This is the man's kitchen. Half industrial. Alright, so. Yeah, I've got the uh, thing there. So I put that back in the spice box. That's one other thing I'm going to do with it. And this is kind of cool. I am going to put Asian sesame dressing in. Okay. So I'm going to put Asian sesame dressing. Mix it up there. This is super cool. This. This stuff, I never tasted anything like it. It's got a, a savory punch to it. Asian sesame dressing. Okay? So it's got a super punch to it. And uh, that's it. Now, um, now we're done. So you mix up this all in. How it does cause it to look a little brown. Which you don't want to have to take looking, but Oh, I can smell that. That smells very good. Okay. Okay, so my blog is um, the Black Dot Communicator Online. The Black Dot Communicator Online. We now have a website. It's called, uh, I can't tell you what that's called yet, because I'm not sure that it's registered. It's been registered, but it's not quite there yet, okay? So, we have a, um, we have a website coming, and that will be really, really nice. And so we have the, that blog, the blog is really interesting too blog is, has 49 pages. So, this is a big pack here. I actually you can see me here. Um, this is what we've made. We've made steak and now you can put the gravy on the mashed potatoes and you have a sweet, sweet dinner for yourself. Okay? So, talk to you next time. Thanks for watching. And maybe you can subscribe. Thanks.